What is going on guys? Today we have a very large Windows update to talk about and in this video we're going to go over a whole bunch of the new features coming to your Windows 11 PC very very soon. Now there are going to be some I'm going to leave off at the end just because there are so many to go over but I am going to touch on all of the really big major ones and the first really big major one is going to be this. Microsoft is bringing their new Bing chat service directly to your taskbar. So you've had your little search widget down there. Or maybe like me, you've had that turned off since the very beginning because it's ugly. But you might want to turn it back on that because now you're going to be able to actually type in a search there and click on that nice new little Bing chat button. And what's going to happen it's, is it's going to give you that new Bing chat service response that I have talked about on this channel a few times. Now, you got to pump the brakes a little bit because this isn't quite as exciting as you might think it is because all this is actually going to do is take your search query and open up your Edge browser and do that search in Bing. It's basically a glorified shortcut, not truly being integrated into the operating system itself. It's good to see a shortcut to integrate it to get it more quickly going, but it's not quite as cool as you might have hoped. It would be really nice if it just popped it up in a little window, just like you're seeing here, and it gave you the answer right in that little window and did it all in the operating system, but that might be something that comes later on. Still cool, not as cool as I think it could have been. And in fact, they show this in their little video whenever they do the search, they show that it pops it up in Bing. So it's not like they're hiding this, but it is not quite what you might think it is. Another really cool update is to PhoneLink, an application that I still use fairly regularly is now finally getting compatibility for iOS. You're gonna be able to take your iPhone and connect it to the to the phone link app and get your text messages and send and receive phone calls all right there from the app. Now, right now, I know it says and more, but apparently and more is not true at this exact moment. My understanding is that this only works for phone calls and text messages, okay? So no phone screen sharing option up there uh, visible. You're not gonna be seeing, as far as I'm aware, the notifications from any other application. It is just simply calling and texting. Still a cool feature to be getting. We're also getting upgrades to the Windows Studio FX uh, suite of tools, basically to allow users to adjust their settings directly from the taskbar. So you can see here in this image, the Studio Effects, they pop up right there and you're able to go in, change the background effect, the eye contact thing, that creepy thing where no matter where you're looking, it keeps your eyes locked on the camera and it's very creepy and weird. You can adjust all of that from the taskbar now, which is a really nice thing to have. And so it just makes this nice, quick, easy, makes it feel like it's more integrated into the operating system. They're also enhancing the Quick Assist application to make things quicker and easier to connect. Maybe you need to help out your friend, a family member, or a coworker that's having a computer problem. Fire up that quick assist application and do exactly that. Take control of their computer. It's going to be simpler and quicker, easier to switch between the viewing mode and the full control mode. Just cool enhancements all around there. You may have seen news articles a couple of weeks back about new widgets coming as well. That widget panel there on the bottom left corner of your screen that you probably forgot actually exists. Well, they are continuing to work on that and new widgets are coming. Widgets from Spotify, widgets from Game Pass, from uh, Meta, from, did I say Spotify already? I think there's another one in there. I wrote this all down. Phone link, Game Pass, Meta, and Spotify. There you go. So new widgets are coming. Uh, so maybe you're going to use that now. We're also getting new enhancements to touch screen use. You can see here the collapsed taskbar. You can swipe up to maximize that there are going to be new touched things for like snap layouts and just other uh, enhancements to touch gestures to make this thing work better on touch screen devices. All really, really good to see and stuff I cannot wait to try both on my Surface Pro devices and my Steam Deck, which now does run Windows 11 as well. That taskbar in particular, when there's no keyboard attached, collapsing, giving me more screen real estate is a pretty cool idea. Here's one that I'm really excited about too. I use the snipping tool all the time, okay? You can hit Windows Shift S and quickly take a snip and, and screenshot a piece of your screen or whatever. I love the snipping tool. Well, now you're gonna be able to not just do that and take a photo, take a screenshot of a portion of your screen or your whole screen or whatever you wanna do. You're not gonna be able to actually record a video of a portion of your screen. How cool is that? Really, really useful stuff. 
you know, we just got tabs in the uh, file browser. Well, we're going to get tabs in the Notepad app as well. Tabs everywhere. Tabs make sense. They're good. They're beautiful. Put them in everything. And that looks like what Microsoft is continuing to do. Like I said, there are some more things in the blog post I'm not going to cover here. Enhancements to the 365 app, new accessibility options, energy recommendations, all kinds of stuff. I will link to this full blog post in the description down below. And this update should be rolling out, right? You should be able to go very, very soon to Windows Update. I'm checking mine right now to see if it's there because it hasn't popped up just yet. Click on check for updates and eventually, hopefully today, it is going to roll out to you and pop up and be available to download. Mine is still not here just yet, but it should be very, very soon. Guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more quick to the point content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.